What's going on, y'all? So we're here for another round of using my friend's teams, and we're switching over to a team by our good friend and fellow content creator, Gigawatts94. So if you don't know Gigawatts, they are a very good friend, um, good content creator, and just like me, you know, kind of just a small-time content creator trying to make a name for theirself. Uh, the difference being that I think Giga is succeeding a little bit more than I have uh, to either, like, not necessarily, I mean, maybe make a name for themselves, but, like, to get good finishes, right? So Giga went 6-2 <clears throat> or 5-2 and two or whatever at Secaucus Regionals and got, like, 15th place, right? And then... Giga also got second place in their local tournament with this team that we're seeing right here, and also got onto the uh, Team India for World Cup since, you know, they, they need people to represent India. And uh, so, you know, Giga's been getting out onto things, and that's very exciting for them. Uh, check out their channel if you have not. And uh, yeah, I mean, you know, that's that's ultimately what I hope to do, right? Like. I got top 16 in Evergrande Circuit, which, again, like, I kind of played it down because I wanted to get top 8, but, like, you know, it was still an accomplishment. I, it was, like, one of my first actual accomplishments besides winning that draft league, but it was, like, a more or less unofficial draft league. Um, and we should be on par to get top 32 again, uh, assuming that I win one of my next two best of threes. Uh, so I, I'm hoping for some good success with that, and uh, enough about myself, let's talk about this team. Uh, so yeah, this is Giga's kind of version of the Bronzong Groudon team with an Assault Best of Eltal, Citrus Berry Groudon with Swords Dance, a uh, Helping Hand Venusaur, which is actually very good for me to be aware of, uh, Weather Ball, Focus Sash, Sleep Powder, got the super annoying Bronzong, We've got a Life Orb Special Regilecki, which is good to be aware of. Um, you know, we need to be careful around things like Landorus. <clears throat> and then we've got Safety Goggles Insin with standard Insin things. So, okay, pretty, pretty solid team. Like I said, definitely check out Giga if you have not. Um, give me some support too, you know, I'm out here. Uh... And I appreciate your support. I don't know. I'm not. I'm not good at like. You know, I don't like being one of those guys that's like, subscribe to my channel. But at the same time, like, if my channel's growing slow, I probably should. <laughs> oh god. <sighs> I I really do appreciate those of y'all who support me though. Like, I know I've been. I don't know. Like, I've been in a funk recently, and I don't know if you guys can, like, tell through the, through the thing, but it's just my life. Like, it's not, it's not Pokemon. Um, so, oof, I, this is, this is that really good, um, half dragon, half dark team, right? And so, I actually do feel very threatened by this. I don't know what I'm gonna be able to do. Uh... I think I could try starting Venusaur Groudon, right? I think the only thing about that is, like, if I start Venudon, should I start Incin Venu, or should I, I'm thinking we start Groudon because it gives us the chance to, like, pressure them, right? Um, I mean, like, yes, Incin can come, I'm not saying it can't, right? Um, and I also think that we probably bring a Veltal. So, I mean, you can see why this team that they built was actually really scary. Like, I have no clue what I'm going to do against this. And I and I have a very high chance of getting wrecked, if we're being honest. Like, this, uh, this is some, a cool team, you know? It's a really cool team. And I think the Umbreon is really what, like, holds it all together and makes it like, Oh god, what am I going to do? Yeah.
so I don't love this situation, honestly. Um, what I want to do is I want to sleep powder here, and I want to max quake. Something I could do is like wait and swords dance. Um, I think I'm playing a little bit risky. But you can see why I started Groudon, right? Because I was like, I mean, no matter what, Groudon should pressure them. And like, I might be falling into their trap a little, a little bit. We're going to really have to see what happens here. Um, I'm expecting them to want Trick Room, right? So they're not switching out. They're also faster than me, which is kind of bad. <laughs> so here's the way I'm looking at this like if I land this sleep powder we should be in like a pretty okay position but if I don't I have no clue what's gonna happen it's probably gonna be bad like if I don't I have to sleep powder the Dialga next turn and like they're just gonna yawn me. <laughs> no! 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 <laughs> no! Oh my god. I got got, my guy. I got got. You see how... You see how good team building is? Like, you see how good good team building is? He said, I know exactly what my Umbreon is supposed to do here. Absolute champ, my guy. I'm gonna Weather Ball, and I'm gonna Quake, and probably just lose, you know, like, if we're being honest. <laughs> Like, yes, we're quaking up. Hey, I mean, if they didn't steal Spike this turn, I would be in a very good position. <clears throat> so... We shouldn't KO here, but they should, I would say, yawn Groudon. They snort. Okay. Well, we weather ball. And we get another. This is not going, like, terribly. I mean, the, the Umbreon is going to be a big problem. And I think we also need to... Well, it hasn't clicked Yawn yet, so let's just, let's just count our blessings. Is it even worth putting them to sleep right now? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. So we Leaf Storm. Hmm. 
Okay, well, I would have liked to switch out there. They are going to foul play. Boring. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, boring. So, I'm starting to get worried about this. I really needed to hit that sleep powder, honestly. Um, let's leaf storm. Yeah. So this is where it gets close. Um, I don't know if they have Protect. And I do still want to click Sleep Powder and Parting Shot.
I'm still a little worried. We do have this, though. And we throat chopped them. So, I think if anything, what we can do is we can switch out Venu right now into Insin. And then we can just start snarling. Um... And this keeps the throat chop pressure on. So they can't click snarl. They can? I thought I clicked throat chop. What happened here? Throat chop only works for one turn? Like... Okay, good, 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 good. We should win. Because we can just switch a Valtal out once we need to. Awesome. So I'm going to Throat Chop again, and I'm going to Oblivion Wing. That's bad. That's extremely bad. Because we are officially playing to timer now. That was, that was the only way, literally the only way they can win is by getting that um, poison. And I think I'm still going to be able to win by taking it to timer. Um, I think what I'd like to do is parting shot and switch in Venu. No. I think what we have to do is we have to just full throat chop. And go for another Oblivion Wing this turn. Throat Chop doesn't work on them. I don't get that. Um... Can I play the timer, please? Like... <laughs> they can win this. I hate that. Like... Literally just that one. It was literally just that poison. That was all.
That's what you gotta do. So they're playing well, I would say. I mean... Yes! So as you can tell, we're at the point of wasting their time on purpose. Uh, I don't know how much time I have left on my timer, but... Okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. So here we have to switch out into Ensign, because if they were to snarl right now, that would be really bad. Okay, we win. Just a little crit to rub some salt in the wound. And they snarl. See, that's why I did that. So we win. Why quit? Like, you go through all that trouble just to DC? Like, take the loss like a man, my guy. I'm sorry. Like, I can't... I could never do something like that. Um... <laughs> not trying to dog on him. Like, I know it sounds mean to say it that way, but it's like... Just stick with it, man. Like, you're gonna lose... You... You tried your hardest, like, I respect it, you know, but in the end of the day, I made the plays that I needed to make, and I came out on top. They did, yeah, yeah, so they didn't have Yawn, right, um... You guys know I can play a long grindy game if I have to. Okay. So this is a little more standard, right? A little more I can't really bring bronze on. Or wait, was the last team even not... Oh yeah, definitely not standard. It just 
it was a top cutting regional team. Like, it's not standard at all. It, it's a good team, but, um, what can I do here? This team is actually, I feel like, pretty good against mine. I want to start, like, a Veltal Venu with Groudon and Insin Bronzong. It really depends on what we can get rid of, but the, I think actually Reggie Lecky is going to be my best last if we do get rid of the, uh, we just have to get rid of Raichu, basically. Like, if we do get rid of Raichu, then this is going to be fine. We might honestly just Dynamax, uh, Venusaur on turn one and click Vinelash into Raichu. Not in these conditions. Uh This does put us in an interesting position, though. Because, like... Honestly... What's more important here? Like... Is it more important... To... I kind of want to switch into Groudon and actually just do it. Like, I know it seems like a bad play, but I'm expect- I-, I If they have Life Orb of Eltal, obviously that would be bad. But I'm just saying, like, Realistically speaking, the biggest problem for us right now is this Raichu. And if I can get rid of Raichu, I have a pack, right? Like, I have a Life Orb Regilecki. Um, I have Tick Damage. They are going to Dynamax. And that's not even a KO. That sucks. What we can do is we can click Max Strike next turn. Oh my god. That's what I was afraid of, my guy. Yeah, I was really afraid of that. Um, <laughs> I mean, it's my fault, right? Like, what can I really say? So, I think let's actually rock tomb here and let's sucker punch. Damn it.
So yeah, this is not over, but it is like Reggie Lackey's gonna have to do a lot here. And when I say a lot, I mean, like, we're going to have to, like, pretty much be able to half health this Veltal with Electro Web. Because this is going to be Kyogre. Insin. Not what I expected. If I could call what their Veltal was going to do right now, I would definitely be switching into Reggie Lucky. Um I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it at risk of losing. Um it's a bad play, honestly. But the way that I'm looking at things is they protect or they fake out my Veltal and they max darkness the Groudon. Oh, no, don't do that. Damn it. I lose. Okay, no, that's good. Risky play pays off. Just barely. So who do I have in the back of Veltal? Um, I'm gonna press this blades, and I'm gonna rising voltage. I think something I could actually do right now would be to volt switch, and the benefit of clicking volt switch would be we get out of the way of the parting shot, and we definitely get a KO here. Like. I don't know. If they have Sucker Punch, this is going to be bad. I'm trying to get out of the way of the parting shot, though. Or the, I guess, Flare Blitz. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> We are going to have a bit of a problem here, though. Um, and that problem is the fact that my best move right now is Rising Voltage. And that's bad. Oh! Oh! I can so lose this. That's game. <sighs> I wonder if there was one more turn of Vine Lash. I don't think there was. But, oh boy, was that bad. Um, I should have checked the Vine Lash turns. Uh, 
That was so bad. Yeah, I mean, Rising Voltage just can't be your best electric move, honestly, and that's what it comes down to, but GG's. Um, I really, really wish I had checked the Vine Lash turns, because there was no reason for me not to double protect, just to scout, right? Um, but either way... I guess we'll take that loss. So yeah, that's today's video. Um, I do think it was a really good set of matches. Just, yeah, man, you really can't have Rising Voltage be your best electric move. So that'll be our vid today. And peace out.